All right, I am taking the air pump off. The air pump. Um, and I'm taking off all of the associated uh, crap. So this has already got, uh, this is a GM crate motor and they changed the manifold and it does not have an EGR on it. So uh, I am gonna eliminate the air pump and I'm eliminating uh, these uh, heat activated uh, uh, vacuum, uh, I have no clue what they're called, but you had these vacuum lines plugged into it and that and uh, that went into your air cleaner, that went into, I'm not sure where, but I uh, capped them off on the carburetor. So if it's, uh, if it's on your carburetor or if it's in your intake manifold, actually, not these though, uh, cap that off. But I think the majority of them are going to your, um, well, that's, uh, I think all these vacuum lines need to be uh, replaced. If they're uh, going into some sort of vacuum source, um, cap them off so that is a that one is a half inch plug and the lower one right there is a 3 8 plug uh, national pipe thread um, so I just broke the plastic part off, you can break off both of them. It doesn't, uh, there is no antifreeze that is going to come out of there. Just break the top off of it because it looks just like that one. And uh, and then use your uh, deep socket and your driver and uh, pull those off. You will have uh, antifreeze shooting out of there. So pull it out, have your other plug ready with maybe a little bit of pipe sealant on it and quickly pull it out and put it back in to minimize the mess that is going to come out of there. So I am going to take my, uh, my uh, Sawzall with the Sawzall blade on it and I'm going to cut all these uh, tubes coming off of the uh, exhaust manifolds. Cut it with the Sawzall. Uh, I'm probably going to leave a little bit on there and pinch it down and then I'm going to weld the end of it. So, and I'm I'm kind of thinking about cutting it off flush cuz it would look it would look better and then welding it. Since this is a 350, I can actually get my torch in there and weld it. If it was a 454, uh, it might be a little bit snug because uh, I tried to take the back one off. I was just going to stick some plugs in there. Uh, they don't want to move cuz obviously they're they're very rusty. So I'm going to break the saws all out. I'm going to cut all those off. I'm going to take the air pump off. I am going to take all of the garbage associated with the air pump out of there. Okay, we've used the saws all. We have cut those off just so you can get accessibility better with the <coughs> saws all. We have undone this. And it... Uh, it was just like that. So you got two uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Yes, 10 millimeter. Um, I don't know why there's so much metric crap on here, but uh, so that's 10 millimeter. That comes off there. I have sawzalled through that hose that goes up and over to the other side. And Saws all those ones off, making it easy to access access the uh, tubes. Because if you don't saws all them off towards the top, then you can't get down in there with your saws all hacksaw or whatever you're going to use to cut that off. Maybe a cutoff wheel. I don't know. So we're going to take all this crap off, and we're going to cut those down, and then we're going to weld those up. Fittings uh, are ready to weld. I did a little wire wheel on them. Uh, they are very rusty and thin. So I've heard of people that just pinch them off, leave them a little bit long and pinch them off, but um, they are pretty thin little suckers. Not, uh, not pretty, but uh, I did a little extra that I didn't really need to. I covered the sparklet wires up with a little bit of sheet metal. <clears throat> I don't think it's not grounding very good because I've got it grounded right there, but 
it has done the job. Like I said before, not pretty, but effective. Okay, we've taken all that junk off. We've welded up the holes. Um, so I took all those vacuum lines off. You have one that is possibly going down to your transmission if it has a vacuum modulator type thing. So that steel line that's right alongside the um, distributor cap, that goes down to the transmission. So you also might have a line going into your heater control, which this one does not, at least off of, uh, but those should be vacuum, not the, uh, not the heat activated uh, switches. So vacuum switches or whatever, I don't even know what the hell they are. But anyway, yeah, we're cleaned up. Uh, I'm happy with the situation and uh, thanks for watching.